there, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm here in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Yeah, I just dropped off a couple passengers and heading back to Goshen. And there's quite a few storms firing up around the area. It's clear here in Hilton Head for now. Um, there's a, a kind of a scattered line that we'll have to cross and then just to the south of Goshen, extending over to Illinois and south um, there and down towards Indy, there's a pretty solid line um, that I probably won't be able to get through. So I'm going to uh, plan on going over to the Mystic VOR and then the Boiler VOR and that should take me around the back side of it. And I filed uh, earlier today, so I just filed direct. So I'll have to change that once I get in the air. So that'll be the plan. And then uh, it looks like it was kind of already starting to back up from there. So hopefully we can make it around. If not, we'll just, uh, our backup plan will, our plan C, I guess, will be to land and wait for something to move through. And if we need to spend the night, we do. So uh, it's getting hot in here. And so I'm ready to start the engine. Let's go fly. All right, we're clearing left, center, and right. And we've got the chocks removed. Got at least 24 volts and ITT is below 150. So let's get this thing started. I don't think these guys are paying attention. All right, we are clear. Looks like everybody's going to the front. So we'll go ahead and start. Grab the weather. Good afternoon, Hilton Tower. It is Space Echo 1950 Zulu, wind 1707, gust 12, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 25, dew point 20, altimeter 29999. Visual approach runway 21 in use, all aircraft nurse contact at 5 Good afternoon, Hilton Tower. It is all right, Space we got Echo information Echo. Afternoon, Clarence. Spot us 92 on November Golf. Request IFR to Golf Sierra Hotel. Spot us 921 November Golf Ground, clear to Golf Sierra Hotel as file, climbing tank 2000. Expect uh, 22010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 2512, squawk 3266. 921 November Golf, clear to Goshen as filed, 2000, 220 in 10 minutes. Departure 2512, squawk 3266. November 1 November Golf, read that correct. Anchor on 921 November Golf from Signature Raid Taxi with Echo. Pilatus 1 November Golf, runway 2 1 via Alpha. 2 1 via Alpha, 1 November Golf. Flashing the landing light is a universal ready to go signal. And we're going to 2 1 via Alpha. Welcome aboard the PC 12, everybody. Like I said, we're heading uh, from Hilton Head out to Goshen. And with all these storms in the way, it should be quite an interesting flight. I think we've got a good plan to get around them, but uh, you no know, weather changes pretty rapidly sometimes, especially with thunderstorms. So we'll have to keep a close eye on it as we go along. That's uh, when it's really nice having the XM radar or the data link on the MFD here so that we can keep an eye on the weather way out and then have the onboard radar where we can navigate close in. Class 1 November Golf, will you be uh, ready upon reaching? A firm 1 November Golf. I'm tower 9 to November Golf. I'll be ready at the end. Roger, sir. Stand by. November 1 November Golf. Uh, left heading 090, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Left 090, 021, clear for takeoff. 9 to November Golf. All right, flaps and unseaters, trims, amps are good, probes, windshield heats to light. Uh, flight idle when we take the runway. Lights, runway and final are clear. No condition lever to flight idle. Pass is clear. There we go. Got a left crosswind. That was 
a short takeoff. All right, positive rate on the brakes, gear's coming up. Excellent. I can go off. Y'all damn can come on. And we're good to start our turn to zero nine zero. Lotus one November golf contact you for departure. Have a good night. Do departure. Good night. One November golf. And flaps can come up. Number six two eight alpha descent maintain four thousand. Set 4,000, 6 feet off. Slow departure, plot a standard to one November Golf off Hilton Head, uh, 090, climb to 2,000. November 9 or 2, one November Golf, beep departure at it, climb maintain, 1 to 1,000. Climb 10,000, one November Golf. November 1, November Golf, radar contact 2 miles southeast of Hilton Head Airport, say on course setting. On course is 345, one November Golf. November 1, November Golf, Roger, turn left heading 050, vector for the climb. Left 050, one November Golf. Heading 050, and we'll transition to speed or cruise climb of 150 knots. November 1, November Golf, uh, expect on course reaching 6,000. 1, November Golf, Roger. At least 3,000 AGL, I'll go ahead and turn the inertial separator to closed. Generally, I try to keep it open underneath below 3,000 AGL for protection against birds accidentally being ingested into the engine. November Golf, turn left on course. Left on course, one November Golf. Direct to Goshen for now. Once we get with center, I'll make the route request, change request. Gladys, one November Golf, contact Texas Center, 132.92. Legacy 8162 lead off. Check Center 3292, one November Golf. Low Jack Center, Pilatus Center, two on November Golf, 9200, climbing 10, 10,000. November 9 or 2, 1 November Golf Track Center. Climb and maintain flight level 220. Climb flight level 220, and I've got a route change request if you got time. November 9 or 2, 1 November Golf, go ahead. Bro. Yeah, for 921 November Golf, I'd like to change it to direct the uh, Mystic VOR, Mike Yankee Sierra, uh, to get around some weather down the road. November 9 or 2, 1 November Golf, clear direct. Mike, Yankee see our direct destination. Direct Mystic, direct destination. Thanks, one November off. Now we've got direct to Mystic, and then uh, we'll keep an eye on the weather, and if it's moved to the east, we can just go straight up to Goshen, and as we get closer, if we need to, we can add boiler in there to go further west, or even further if it's extended even further west than that. Climbing through transition altitude. Go standard on the altimeters. Thank you for flight. It's actually close this time. A lot of times it's hundreds of feet off. Cross, please. November 9 or 2 1 November Golf, contact Atlanta Center 128.1. Atlanta 128.1, 1 November Golf, call. So Atlanta, Pilatus 9 or 2 1 November Golf, 220. Water, 9 2 1 November Golf, Hudson Rudge. For 9 2 1 November Golf, contact Atlanta Center 135.35. 35 35 1 November Golf, Swan. Hello, Atlanta, Pilata, 9 or 2 1 November Golf, 220. 9 uh, 2 1 November Golf, Atlanta Center, got some scattered, modern heavy uh, precip, uh, beginning about 100 miles ahead of so those scattered for 50. You need to do this, land just like near the next guy down. Yeah, I'm watching it, I'll let you know, 1 November Golf. All right, we're here in cruise at flight level 220. We've got the power set at 30.4 pounds of torque. And that's uh, netting us 266 true airspeed on 445 pounds of fuel. And take a look at our route. There's quite a bit of activity going on out here. Um, uh, this stuff, we'll be able to get around pretty easy. Um, we can just 
hop up, uh, maybe shoot that gap if it doesn't close, or we can go up around it. And uh, then it looks like um, my original plan is kind of... That uh, Mystic VOR is kind of getting uh, blocked, so... But it looks like there's a gap opening here that we might be able to go through. So as we get closer, if this gap stays open, it looks like it might be starting to close right here. But if it, stay, if it does stay open, then we can shoot up through there. And if it doesn't, then we can come around the backside. I think that'll be the best plan of action. This is a pretty safe plan. It's, uh, it's really clear out to the west, so uh, we've got an easy uh, way. It'll take us longer, but it's definitely a safe route. This is quicker, but uh, we'll have to be careful that this nothing closes up on us. So um, I am going to uh, eat some sugar cookies that a passenger gave me, and I'll talk to you guys later. So we just changed the route a little bit. Um, the gap still looks good. It actually looks like it's getting a little wider. I thought it was maybe going to fill in here, but it looks like it's actually widening, so that's great. Um, Mystic was right around in here, right there. So that was going to take us pretty close to this uh, convective, or that, yeah, that convective activity right there. So instead of going to Mystic, we're just going to go to the Louisville VOR and then continue up that gap. Once we get close to here, um, we'll watch it on the radar, and if it looks like it's going to be close, we can always uh, deviate to the left. There's still room to get around. So, it looks like it should be pretty good. Hopefully it won't be too bumpy going through there. So I've just requested Direct Goshen to send us through this gap. Um, and you can see out here up ahead, we can see visually that there's a clear gap between the two storms. Since the wind is from the left, I'm going to go a little bit to, uh, to the right of the gap. And it looks like we shouldn't have any problems getting through the rest of it. This is kind of the narrowest part of it as we come up here to the north. Uh, everything widens out, so we should be golden. Contact for 3248, trip number 1 November Golf. Uh, contact Washington, or uh, Indy Center now on 126.37 and just let them know you're deviating. Now 91 November Golf, Indy Center, yeah, you're going right in between a pair of extremes south in about two minutes. You'll be clear of those. And uh, honestly, you should be able to turn on course and you'll be uh, actually kind of going in a nice clear gap in between anything else. Yeah, we're being seen between the cells now, 1 November Golf. November 9 or 2 1 November Golf, contact Indy Center 119.55. Number 9 or 2 1 November Golf, Indy Center, welcome. Number 1 November 
call, can I take it to center 124.52? Fox 9921, November Golf County Center, hello. Alright, welcome back everybody. We're descending out of 22,000 or flight level 220 for 14,000. We're about 80 miles out of Goshen, so let's grab their weather. Zero. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, scattered, one, zero, thousand. Temperature, two, four, Celsius. Dew point, one, three, Celsius. Chicago 119.85. November Golf. So long. So Chicago Pilatus Niner 2 on November Golf, 20.6 descending 14,000. Niner 2 1 November Golf, Chicago Center. Roger Grissom, Altimeters 2 Niner 8 Niner. 8 Niner 1 November Golf. Alright, let's finish grabbing that one. Altimeter 2 Niner 8 8. Remarks. Density altitude 2,200. Goshen Municipal Airport, Goshen, Indiana. Automated weather observation 2253 Zulu. Wind 330 at 10. Visibility 10. That's convenient. Picked up right where we left off. 330 at 10, 10 miles, scattered 10,000. Warm and 29.88 on the meter. Should be an easy arrival into Goshen. Almost, uh, well, halfway. A 45 degree crosswind about. No, that's not 45, that's 60. A 60 degree crosswind, 10 knots. Well, within the Pilatus uh, limits either way. The Pilatus crosswind limits are 15, uh, degree, or 15 knots of crosswind at 40 degrees of flaps. 20 knots of crosswind at 30 degrees of flaps. 25 knots at 15 degrees of flaps and 30 knots with zero degrees of flaps. So it can handle quite a bit. There's 18,000, so we'll go ahead and set 2989 on the altimeters. Chicago Center, Chicago 5436, 6,000, climbing 10,000. Getting bumpy coming out the bottoms here. Nine or two on November Golf, the center maintained one of one thousand, a four way altimeter, two nine or eight nine or two nine eight nine or descend to eleven thousand one November Golf. And four November Golf, the bases were about fifteen thousand five hundred, and we had light to moderate chop coming down through them. Kyrie Golf, Zulu, Papa X. -ray. Okay, Roger, are you uh, still in the now? Chicago, no, it's moved out now. One, okay, thank you. Should be mostly smooth from here on out. If you do get any chop, let me know. One November Golf, we'll go. Our right, nine or two on November Golf, contact Fort Wayne approach one two seven point two. Fort Wayne on twenty seven two on November Golf. So long. Hello, Fort Wayne. Plot us nine or two on November Golf, thirteen thousand eight hundred, descending one one eleven thousand. Plus nine or two one November Golf, Fort Wayne approach one altimeter two hundred eight eight, descend maintain five thousand. Descend maintain five thousand one November Golf. Five thousand and two nine eight eight. Okay, let's go ahead and put Goshen Unicom in on COM2 so we can listen and see what's, uh, what the picture is there, get an idea of the traffic. Yeah, it's a beautiful view to the west. Plus one November Golf to maintain 4,000. 4,000, one November Golf. Taking the hillside of Skyhawk 127, come on Delta, a mile south of the runway. We're entering left downwind, runway 26. Plus one over golf, contact south bend approach 132.05. South bend on 3205, one November golf, good night. Okay. Good evening, south bend, Pilatus Center 2, one November golf, 6200, descending 4000. Pilatus 9 2 November Golf, stop and approach, off and altimeter 2989er. Hello, Grant, welcome back. And expect a visual approach at Goshen, unless you'd like something else. 2989, and I am planning on the visual there, 1 November Golf. Pilatus 
Alpha one November Gulf, descend and maintain 2,500 to Goshen Airport, 12 o'clock at 1, 1 miles. I've got the airport inside, and I'm going to cancel IFR with you at this time, 1 November Gulf. November Gulf, uh, IFR cancellation received, squawk VFR, the frequency change approved. See ya. We'll see ya, 1 November Gulf. Goshen traffic, Quad us, 9 or 2, 1 November Gulf, 9 and a half to the south, we'll enter a left downwind for 27, Goshen. All right, we do have the inertial separator open, pulse lights are on, no passengers to warn. Goshen traffic, plot us center two on November Golf, turning the left downwind, runway 27, Goshen. 2300 is pattern altitude here at Goshen. Second Hills traffic, Skyhawk 33 Hills. Actually, we'll bring it back to 11. Yes, I actually need to slow down a bit. And we are below 165. We'll go ahead and do approach flaps. And gear down, below 180. I go ahead and bring the power back to 8 PSI since we're pretty light. Got three greens, flaps are coming down, lights are on. Goshen traffic, plot of center, 2 November Golf, turning the left base, 2 7 Goshen. Plenty wide pattern here. Laps at 15, inertial separators on, or open, gears down. Looks pretty good, might be a touch high, a little fast, I'll bring out a little power. Final's clear, haven't heard anybody. Go ahead and go 30 degrees of flaps. Below 130. Goshen traffic, Pilatus 902 on November Golf, turning final 27, Goshen. All right, we'll start slowing down towards the dynamic speed bug. Bring out a little more power. We'll have that crosswind from the right. 500. Alright, autopilot and yaw damp are disconnected. Right, is looking good. <clears throat> Still have a little ways to slow down. Do have three greens. Belt pressure is good. Right, bring out the power. Hold it off. And grease it on. All right, we'll clean everything up and welcome back to Goshen. That was an uh, interesting flight, that weather we had to deal with, those uh, that gap closed really fast there. That was uh, a little closer than uh, I was, I'm was. i normally comfortable with. Don't recommend flying that close, and we were kind of under the overhang. That's uh, That was not ideal going through there. Um, but yeah, that gap closed really fast. It's a good example of why not to navigate only with XM because it can be delayed it won't catch that but thanks for riding along if you guys are liking the plotus videos you can subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when i post new ones go ahead and uh, hit the notific notification bell and i will catch you guys on the next one